Hello everyone, I am Shyam Pasari and welcome to ASIN Academy. So as you have seen the title of this video, in this video we will learn how to find the sum of reciprocals of all the factors of a number. So without further ado, let's begin. Now before moving on to the main topic, let us first discuss some few basic parts. Now discussing the factors of a number. Now we know that factors of a number are those which divide the number completely. So for example, factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5 and 15. So these are the four factors of 15. Now let's say we are asked to find the sum of reciprocals of all the factors of 15. So what we have to actually find is, we have to find 1 by 1 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 15. Now since this is a small number, we can calculate it manually. So 15 will be the LCM and in the numerator I will get 15 plus 5 plus 3 plus 1. So upon calculation, you will find that this value will come as 24 by 15. So I can say that the sum of reciprocals of all the factors of 15 is equal to 24 by 15. Now over here, if you'll notice one thing, you'll find that the numerator 24 is nothing but the sum of factors of the number 15 and the denominator is the number itself 15. So let's discuss the general method for finding out the sum of reciprocals of all the factors for any given number. So the general method is as follows. If we are given a number n and we have to find the sum of reciprocals of all the factors of the number n, then the formula is nothing but sum of factors of the number n whole divided by the number itself. So the sum of factors by the number n will give me my value. Now if you don't know how to find the sum of factors of a number, then I have made a separate video on our channel. So you can go watch that video first and then come back to this video. Now if you have any doubt on this topic, then let's discuss some few basic examples which will clear all your doubts. So according to our first example, we have to find for the case of 100, that is we have to find the sum of reciprocals of all the factors of 100. Now we can do it manually, but since we know the method, we can directly apply it by using our method. So first we have to find the sum of factors of 100. Now to calculate the sum of factors for any given number, we have to first prime factorize the number. So 100 on prime factorization gives me a result as 2 square into 5 square because 2 square is 4 and 5 square is 25 and 4 into 25 gives me a result as 100. So the sum of factors is nothing but 2 to the power 0 plus 2 to the power 1 plus 2 to the power 2 into 5 to the power 0 plus 5 to the power 1 plus 5 to the power 2. So basically for finding out the sum of factors, we have to just write down all the powers of the given prime numbers starting from 0 up to the given power and multiply it with the next prime number with same starting from the 0th power up to its highest power. So let's calculate this value. Now our first bracket will give me a result as 7 and our second bracket will give me a result as 31 and we know that 7 into 31 is equal to 217. So the sum of factors of 100 is equal to 217 and our final answer is nothing but 217 divided by 100. So the sum of reciprocals of all the factors of 100 is equal to 217 by 100. So you can see that this formula is very simple and by this we can calculate for any given number. So moving on to our second example. Now according to our second example, the number given to us is 2 to the power 3 into 3 to the power 2 into 7 to the power 1. Now since this number is already in its prime factorized form, we can easily find out its sum of factors. So it will be 2 to the power 0 plus 2 to the power 1 plus 2 to the power 2 plus 2 to the power 3 into 3 to the power 0 plus 3 to the power 1 plus 3 to the power 2 and finally into 7 to the power 0 plus 7 to the power 1. Now we just have to calculate this value and we'll get our answer. So 2 to the power 0 plus 2 to the power 1 plus 2 to the power 3 plus 2 to the power 4 is nothing but 2 to the power 4 minus 1 because sum of all the powers of 2 from 0 up to n is nothing but 2 to the power n plus 1 minus 1. So it is 2 to the power 4 minus 1 which is 15 into 3 to the power 0 plus 3 to the power 1 plus 3 to the power 2 which is equal to 13 and 7 to the power 0 plus 7 to the power 1 is equal to 8. So my final value is equal to 15 into 13 into 8 which is equal to 1560. So the sum of reciprocals of all the factors for this given number is equal to 1560 divided by the number. So if you have the number taken as x, then my answer is equal to 1560 by x.
So according to our third example, we have to find for the case of 6 factorial. Now we know that 6 factorial is equal to 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 into 6. So n factorial is nothing but the product of all the natural numbers from 1 up to the number n. So I can say that the prime factorized form of this given number is equal to 2 to the power 4 into 3 to the power 2 into 5 to the power 1 because we have 1 5, 2 3s and 4 2s. So I have 2 to the power 4 into 3 square into 5 to the power 1. So let's quickly calculate the sum of factors for this given number. Now it will be 2 to the power 0 plus 2 to the power 1 plus 2 to the power 2 plus 2 to the power 3 plus 2 to the power 4 into 3 to the power 0 plus 3 to the power 1 plus 3 to the power 2 into 5 to the power 0 plus 5 to the power 1. So we have to just calculate the value of these three brackets and we'll get our answer. So upon calculation, we'll find this is equal to 2 to the power 5 minus 1, which is 31, into 3 to the power 0, 1, plus 3, 4, plus 9, 13, into 5 to the power 0, 1, plus 5 is equal to 6. So upon calculation, this value is equal to 2148. So since I've got 2418 as my sum of factors for the number 6 factorial, my final value is equal to 2418 by 6 factorial, which is nothing but 720. That was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the topics covered in this video and if you have any doubt then you can post your doubts down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram or Facebook page and we will surely solve your doubt as soon as possible. Or you can go to the official website of ASN Academy and you can send your doubts to us from there and all the links are provided down in the description. And if you did like the video then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASN Academy. Oh, 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 oh,